Hello everybody. Welcome back to Picasim. I'm gonna take you out tonight with the discus. Four meter span scale model of the Shemp Hearth Discus. Okay, it's a four meter span um, glider, I believe. Um, plenty of smooth lifts, but be careful flying into the rotor and turbulence behind the cliff edge. Okay, so we're gonna find a place where there's a nice bit of lift and some thermals and some wind. Um, I don't know if I've taken you out to the to the mountains yet, so let's give that a go. All right. Put the light on here so everybody can see my hand moving the. I'm not sure what the one and two is, but here we go. A lot of wind, I think, in this one. It's got one of those high T-tail kind of... Um, I sure does it. It's a more technical term for but one of those high T-tail uh, uh, tails on, a, on those on a plane. If you excuse me tonight, I'm, I'm not... I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> Try and get it, get it to the peak of the mountain there, and just kind of make it hover up above the peak of the mountain. In front of us, if I can. Do a loop in this thing. Try and get it kind of face in front of us and then do a loop. Ready? Nose down and pull up. Whoa! Yeah. Oh! That was quite nice. you can crash with one of these so easily. You know what, with these big gliders, these very large ones that uh, cost a lot of money, you know, I just wonder, like, uh, like guys must crash those all the time when they bring put them in situ. I wonder, do they actually put them in situations like this? We go for another loop? Here's the peak of the mountain, and I think I'm, yeah, I'm still facing into the wind. It's good. Keeping this one aloft for a while now, it's about, what is it, 2 minutes and 16 seconds? Why does it go red like that? I'm not really sure why the the the, uh, the time and, and the, the uh, minutes and seconds above, and the, the, I think, what is it, the meters, is that meters in height? Or meters away from the actual transmitter. Not really sure. I must research this. Let you guys know. I'm learning it in this same as you are. Watching me doing it. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Easy, I think, when there's a strong wind like this facing in one direction, uh, and there's such a uh, such a well-balanced craft, aircraft that uh, it's not it's not difficult. Do another loop. I 
I mean, if it flew like this in real life, and I would hope it would, that, that the actual, the physical modeling of the dynamics is, is, is as accurate as it can be, you know? I mean, if it was to fly like this in real life, I mean, it'd be very pleasurable. I'll tell you that now. How far down can you go with this thing? I mean, it really is like a, like a soaring albatross. I'm losing lift here. Crap. 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 Oh, can't see it. Don't know what's going on. Oh, I've lost control of that. It's way behind the mountain. Not much I can do about this. Okay, I'm just gonna restart that. <laughs> okay, this will be the last flight then. Because I think that was long enough. Three, four minutes. And I only I only actually seek to do about maybe five, six, seven minutes at the outmost when I do these little vids. But uh It's quite a sore, yeah. Should we try a different location, just for the fun of it? Um, let's take it out, take it out to Mountains Dynamics or inside 3D Flight Line Ridge. Um, getting the fly is going to slope and plenty of thermals. Let's go to here where there's plenty of thermals. Uh, try a few, uh, a few minutes on this. Oh, this is the one with the whistling eagles. <laughs> cool. We'll see how far, how long we can soar on this. Yeah, this definitely gets you more working with the eye and the hand on this one. I'm trying to figure out which way to turn as you're looking at it, you know? I like it. I like it. Keep the nose up. Get that lift going. Ooh, losing lift. Losing lift. Come on. Come on. Stay up. I said to her last night. <laughs> okay. Or she said to me last night. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and soar in a circle. That's what I did before with the um, the banana, the V-tail. Was it here that I was flying that? Or was that a different glider? Don't remember. Try to keep the nose up. I'm gonna get down down past the runway here, but I'll, uh, I'll circle around. Mm, losing a bit of lift there now. That's um, one full circle now, which isn't bad. I mean, it's losing altitude the whole time, obviously, but still. Mm, just going to go down. What am I? A few meters off the ground. Two meters off the ground. Definitely going to land here, I'd say. Yeah, we're down. Okay. I think we'll leave it there. Yeah, that was good. It's a pleasurable, um, it's a pleasurable RC aircraft to uh, in this simulator to play. I'd say. Um, I'd say you could get a, a good soaring uh, um, time going with this particular craft. It seems to be very balanced. Um, I'll do a quick dive around something dynamic and then end the video. Ooh, yeah. First time I've done that. Pretty proud of that now. First time I ever did that. Thank you. Thanks, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. I did. Have a good time. Good night. Be well. Take care.